In this brief tutorial, we're going to go over how to update the header image in your theme. The header image is this image you see up here at the top of every page on your website. Here we have a picture of some clouds in the sky. And let's say you have a photo from your community that you would like to use on your website as opposed to a generic image. Well, you can do that pretty easily. What we're going to do is we're going to use the theme manager to update our theme. Now, this functionality is available on our extended and mega plans. It is not available in the economy plan, so you cannot customize your theme on the economy plan. But if you have the extended plan or the mega plan, you'll go to the admin page, and then you'll click on the theme manager. Now, when this opens up, it will show you what your current default theme is. In this case, we have the responsive theme selected. Now, because we're going to be modifying this theme, what we really want to do first is we want to create a copy of it. We don't want to change the original because we want to be able to go back to it. If we ever want to get this image back, it's easier if we just save a copy of it. So first, I'm going to click the Copy button. And now I'm going to put in New Theme. And we'll create the copy. And it tells us that it has copied the responsive theme to the new theme. So let's go back to the Selection page. And we'll find our new theme right here. And we'll click Edit. So now we have a theme called New Theme, which has all the same colors and fonts and even the same image, this cloud image, that our responsive theme had. But this is the one we're going to change. OK, so let's go into Choose File. And we're going to choose our new image. So I've chosen this image called New Header. And it is an image that is about the size of this one. It is about 1,000 or so pixels wide and about 400 pixels tall. It's really important when you're selecting your image that you don't just take a raw camera photo because most raw camera photos are much taller than will be allowed to fit in here. This image should be below 400 pixels. Uh, generally, you also want one that's about 1,000 pixels wide. If you choose one that's too narrow, it's going to warn you and tell you it's not a good image. If it's too tall, it's going to tell you it's too tall. So the recommended size that you'd like to go with is 1,000 pixels wide. It can be a little bit longer. You could go 12, 13, 1,400 pixels. Uh, but 1,000 pixels is a good width, and 400 pixels is a good height. Some, some webmasters may want a very narrow image. They may want something that doesn't take up so much space on the home page. So you can cr certainly create a header that is only 100 pixels tall, or 150, or 200. Uh, 400, 500 is about the max that it will accept. So uh, it just depends on what your style is. If you're looking for something narrow that doesn't take up much space, go ahead and create an image that's 1,000 pixels wide by 150 pixels tall. If you like the idea of a large image that shows a lot of uh, information, you know, shows uh, your street or your clubhouse, and you want to include a lot of the imagery in that, well, you can go up to about 400 or 500 pixels on the height. So once you've gotten that image cropped, you're going to need to do that externally, by the way. You're going to need to use an image editor to crop your image to the size you want before you upload it. Uh, it's not possible to upload a very large image and then crop it on the website. So use your favorite image editor to take your image, uh, make the width about 1,000 pixels wide, uh, and then make the height about 400 pixels tall. In many photo editors, you can use a resize option as opposed to just straight cropping it. So for example, if your image is already, it already has all the imagery that you want to keep, you know, from left to right, you want to keep the entire image. What you can do is if your photo is 3,000 pixels wide, you can choose to resize it down to 1,000 pixels wide. And that will keep all the content that's in the photo from left to right. Now you'll have to go in and do some cropping to get it down to 300 or 400 pixels tall. So you can just resize it to the width first, around 1,000, and then go in and crop it to the height. All right, so with all that said about creating your image, once you've chosen it, you can simply scroll to the bottom and click Save. And now the, if we go into the new theme that we just edited, you can see that it's 
uploaded my new kind of abstract background into that theme. Everything else about the theme will be the same. All these colors that you see here from the responsive theme, the font sizes, the font colors, the font face, uh, all those things will be the same. Even these background colors will be the same. So now let's go into setup info. I'm going to use this shortcut up here and I'm going to go into setup info. The other way you can get to that, if you're not familiar with that, is go to admin and find the setup info button. And now we'll go into the visual theme tab, which is right here. And you can see we're still using the responsive theme. Of course, it's still showing here. So now we need to change the website to use our new theme. So we simply select our new theme from this list, which happens to be called new theme, and we'll click save. And when it's done saving, it will reload the website with the new theme. There it is, it's done saving, it's gonna reload now. And now it has reloaded uh, setup info, but it's got our new theme image up here. So that is how you update your website with a new custom image, it can be any image, make sure that you have copyright permission to use that image, whichever image you use. Um, but that is how you would upload that image into your theme and make it the new theme image for your, for your website. As you can see here, it is the new title on every page. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and thank you very much for watching.